Okay, so this is our grow tent. We've got a Spider Farmer SF1000 hanging in here at the moment. This is at recommended height from Spider Farmer, 30-ish centimeters above our plant. We've got it turned down at the moment, but it has been on 100% intensity and 12 hours on, 12 hours off. As you can see, it's grown a wonderful pepper plant underneath it. Um, we want this plant to try and ripen its fruits a little faster. Uh, so we're going to experiment with some things that we can do with our light to help that along. Hello, my name's Ian. Welcome back to The Grow Zone. We are with our Spider Farmer SF1000 in the grow tent with our pepper plant. We're going to show experiment with some tricks to try and get this plant to ripen by adjusting our light. Um, and make sure you stay to the end because I'm going to eat some peppers. It makes sense to us that lowering the intensity or raising the hanging height and shortening the photo period of the light is going to help the plant think that it's coming to the end of the season and it's the end of July now and the daylight hours are getting a little bit shorter at either side of the day and we want to simulate that in the, in the tent here. Um, does this make sense to you guys? If not, please let us know in the comments. Uh, we think it's going to work to get some red peppers on this plant. Okay, for the spider farmer, because it is dimmable, we're gonna go from 100% to 80. So I'll do that now, nice and easy. And I'm gonna jump into the Needis app um, and show you how we're gonna change the schedule. We're gonna go down to 10 hours on, 14 hours off. Okay, here we are on my Android phone. We are gonna open the Needis Smart Life app. Um, let's jump right in and we'll have a little look. As you can see, it's mostly sunny here uh, in southern Sweden. We've got lots of different bits and pieces here that we use from Needis to control our grow room and to monitor it. We've got little sensors, temperature and humidity in the grow room. The one that's off there underneath is the grow tent. It's run out of batteries. What we're interested in today is the grow tent extension. This is a smart extension socket. And as you'll see now, it has uh, three switches, which in this case are European type F, I believe, and it has four USBs. These are really, really handy at the moment. Uh, we have our 10 centimeter fan from Needis plugged into these uh, and the 15 centimeter as well down at the base, moving some air about. What we want to do today is change the schedule on our Spider Farmer SF1000. Um, you can see it written here in switch two, we can turn it off and on remotely. Uh, but we, what we want to do today is change its schedule. At the moment it's on 12 hours on, 12 hours off. We're gonna go to 10 hours on, 14 hours off. And I'll jump in and show you how to do that now. Um, so you press uh, alarm, it's not the most obvious thing, it should say schedule. And you choose which switch you wanna uh, make a schedule for go into there and I'm just going to delete these if you long press and hold you come up with a delete button and I'll show you how to do it from scratch so we're going to add our on time so we go on at eight in the morning we want to repeat this every day and we want our spider farmer to go on that's great press save there add schedule again at the bottom and we'll turn it off at 1800, six o'clock. And we'll repeat this every day as well. And we want our SF1000 to turn off at six o'clock. And we press save. That's it. The neatest stuff has been really solid and it's really helped us out with scheduling and um, monitoring various bits and pieces, temperature and humidity, etc. Yeah, check out the links in the description for everything that we have in our shop from those guys. All right, let's jump back to the video. Okay, so our spider farmer is adjusted. Uh, like I said at the beginning, um, these should be red. They are a variety that turns red. And you can see this guy is starting to do so. But of course you can eat them when they're green. So I'm gonna have a taste. Oh yeah. Be sure to check out these mini scissors on the website. They should be on the shop by the time this is out. And they are super handy. 
Let's get this guy. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Really nice. Really nice pepper. <laughs>